Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. I think we've stumbled into Thursday, June 19th, 2020, which might be the last day of spring 2020. Welcome the summer of 2020, which we're getting ready to talk about here. Uh, oh yes, I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. And we have a big day of work here at, uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of Ithaca, New York. You are very welcome to come visit here. Just send me an email at collapsechronicles at gmail.com and come visit the little dog and me. But uh, hopefully I'll have time for this short uh, article from the Guardian before the troops start arriving. So you need to go think about chippies or whatever you think about. And uh, several people have been commenting. This is from my from brother Tom <clears throat> sending this in from the Guardian, although there's a few versions of this out there. We're going to go to Siberia. We're going to leave this gorgeous day in upstate New York. We're going to head to Siberia where it's probably warmer in Siberia than upstate New York today. Here to wrap up spring 2020, we have a climate crisis alarm at record-breaking heat wave in Siberia. Yes, unusually high temperatures in the region are linked to wildfires, oil spill, and moth swarms. Hmm. A prolonged heat wave in Siberia is, quote, undoubtedly alarming. Climate scientists said the freak temperatures have been linked to wildfires, a huge oil spill, and now a plague of tree-eating moths. On a global scale, the, high, the Siberian heat is helping push the world towards its hottest year on record in 2020, despite the temporary dip in carbon emissions owing to the corona panic. Temperatures in the polar region are rising fastest because ocean currents carry heat towards the poles and reflective ice and snow is melting away. This is what, you know, for uh, we have been talking about for the past 20 years, the predictions of climatologists coming true just, you know, more rapidly than previously predicted. Russian towns in the Arctic Circle have re recorded extraordinary temperatures uh, with one town hitting 30 C on June 9th. <clears throat> 30 C, it would always be nice if they could put both of these. 30 C, I think, is somewhere close to 90 and somewhere in the 80s, uh, which usually has daytime temperatures of around 0 C, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, then we also have a reading of 25C on May 22nd, where the previous record was 12C. In May, surface temperatures in parts of Siberia were up to 10C above average, according to uh, climatologist Martin Stendel of the Danish Meteorological Institute. Uh, he said the abnormal May temperatures seen in Siberia would be likely to happen just once in 100,000 years without human-caused global heating. Frasia von Borg, a senior scientist at C3S, said, quote, It is undoubtedly an alarming sign. But not only May was unusually warm in Siberia, the whole of winter and spring had repeated periods of higher than average surface air temperatures. 
although the planet as a whole is warming, this is not happening evenly. Western Siberia stands out as a region that shows more of a warming trend with higher variations in temperatures, so to some extent, large temperature anomalies are not unexpected. However, what is unusual is how long the warmer than average anomalies have persisted for, close quote. As we head into summer, Marina Makarova, the chief meteorologist at Russia's Rosmarey Weather Service said, quote, this winter was the hottest in Siberia since records began 130 years ago. Average temperatures were up to 6C higher than the seasonal norms, close quote. Robert Rode, the lead scientist at the Berkeley Earth Project, said Russia as a whole had experienced record high temperatures in 2020 with the average from January to May 5.3 C above the 1951 to 1980 average. Quote, this is a new record by a massive 1.9 C. In December, Russian President Vladimir Putin commented on the unusual heat. Quote, some of our cities were built north of the Arctic Circle on the permafrost. If that begins to thaw, you can imagine what consequences it will have. It is very serious. Close quote. Falling permafrost was at least partly to blame for a spill of diesel fuel in Siberia this month that led Putin to declare a state of a emergency. The supports of the storage tank suddenly sank, you know, into the melting permafrost. And uh, you're going to see a hell of a lot more of this as we've commented on already wildfires have raged across hundreds of thousands of acres of siberia's forest already this year farmers often light fires in the spring to clear vegetation and a combination of high temperatures and strong winds has caused some fires to burn out of control on top of all of this, swarms of the Siberian silk moth, whose caterpillars eat conifer trees, have grown rapidly in the rising temperatures. Moth expert Vladimir Soldatov said, quote, in all my long career, I have never seen moths so huge and growing so quickly. Close quote. He warned of, quote, tragic consequences for forest, with the caterpillars stripping trees of their needles and making them more susceptible to fires. There you go. That is the report from Siberia where it's probably about the same temperature as here. We're heading to a, a uh, miserable 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Can't imagine what the temperature in Austin, Texas is, but I have got to stop procrastinating because it is 9 o'clock in the morning. My work day begins. Good Lord, what are my choices? So, uh... Ho, 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 off to work. The little dog and I go. Come see us at the farm. So, uh, and do subscribe to Collapse Chronicles if you enjoyed this video. And get out there and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous planet. Well, you still can. There is the, uh, the nerve center of bugs in a jar farm we got the 20 yard dumpster and delivered yesterday 
we got to start ripping roofs off getting ready to replace foundations put in new electric service panels good god almighty no rest for the wicked look at this gorgeous day bye guys